Shalom, greetings, Israel. All praise be to our higher, by Hashem Yishaya, the Savior, that's his son. Coming to y'all live from uh, South Chicago, Illinois, uh, deep in the pagan season. Celebrating their, uh, their days. I'm here with family and everything. Uh, doing a little short video, man. This is uh, going out to uh, the understanding and I'm sharing this about is uh, our people that's stuck in this world, not judging nobody and everything like that, you know. Um, just looking at the spirits on uh, our people. Um, uh, Y'all gotta excuse me, I'm gonna enjoy some of this jerk chicken I got. Uh, before the Sabbath, I go get my meals. So I can enjoy them during. So, um, I got some family members that's, uh, call herself Israel. Mm. But, uh, under a Christian belief, not understanding even about the story of uh, the truth of Jacob and Esau. Uh, they got a solid understanding in their belief that the Most High coming to save everybody. Uh, understanding there's going to be a remnant of uh, Gentiles going into servitude. I understand that. Us woke Israelites understand that, but they so-called teachers don't teach them that. It's some kumbaya shit. And um, so I'm making this video because I just happen to be here visiting. And um, they consider me to be in a cult. But yet, they're in there watching a news episode of uh, the synagogue of Satan getting shot up by other Edomites. And they're somewhat compassionately grieving for them, considering it to be a shame and everything, not understanding the prophecy. So, like I said, not judging nobody from anything, just paying attention to the souls that's being snatched out here. And um, it's a sad thing, you know, and I know he's purifying us. It's not for everybody. It's really not. It's basically um, seeing and witnessing how strong these spirits are out here in this world. And they are they're even stronger on the women. That's not being um, for y'all in this world to uh, take some worldly understanding and think of that as being chauvinist or nothing like that. I'm clear, it's clear you're seeing it. And the scriptures detail that. A weaker vessel uh, entertains uh, demons a lot. And this girl, anyway, family member of mine, off in hell with her demons, and uh, doing some extra stuff right now. But anyway, I'm really finding myself having to get back out of the road on the truck driver, and I'm seeing that this road gives me a peace of mind away from this world. And um, when I come home, whether it's Chicago, Houston, uh, Phoenix, or Oakland, they're my four places I call home. I see so much in this world. And um, really bad, like Oakland, the way it's went down, they're doing a the gentrification thing over there right now. But, uh, just seeing some, how they, uh, you see abandoned cars, couches put out on the sidewalk, homeless people right on the curb, right on East 14th, which they called uh, in the National Highway now. Uh, uh, the West Side, they look like they're cleaning up a little bit. But still, what I'm saying is, the uh, disarray that my people are in, black and brown people uh, in these inner cities, it's really going down, you know? It's, it's, it's like, man, you see in the 90% that's going to be destroyed right before you. 
you know, and it's not saying that I'm going to be saved, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying for people that I know this, I'm seeing it's not even on the path, you know, and they don't see no hope. You know, there's people out here that's reaching out to people, but they get this uh, understanding confused with uh, religion. So they tend to walk away from it when they hear any remnant of uh, some truth, some real truth. And then uh, Houston, it's the same way, but it's not as bad because you got a lot of new development out there. But yet my people out there in Houston, what they tend to do is uh, they tend to stay within their own communities. They won't move out. The people I'm talking about, the locals who live there, they tend not to move out to the suburbs to be closer to uh, Edomites, so-called white man, because of the history that they got with them, you know? And, um, you know, due to the, uh, the history of dealing with Edomites, a lot of uh, Istakar, Istakar rights, uh, Ephraim, uh, Judah, that's Jake, you know, Israelites. In the South, you know, tend to stay away from uh, mingling with them like that and moving to uh, opportunities of this world, worldly opportunities. Uh, you know, they'd rather stay where they're at and they habitation, you know. Uh, and that's the balance that you got to understand out here that uh, we got to be in this world. We got to pay our bills and everything. We're just not supposed to sell our soul to try to be like them. And that's where a lot of us, especially Hispanics and Blacks, get confused with surviving in this world. I think you got to sell your, your uh, even if it's colonialized, slave slave heritage, uh, of uni unifying and being with your own, uh, you think you got to give that up and sell out your soul and, and, and your understanding of this world even uh, to be like them. So they tend to try to be like them. You know, and then... Uh, you know, the people that I gravitate toward of, towards uh, in Oakland, Houston, Chicago, and uh, in Phoenix, they, they don't have those attributes, but I see it everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's just speaking on uh, Oakland there and, and Houston. Then uh, Chicago's always been a segregated uh, city, you know? Uh, besides some neighborhoods on the north and the west side, uh, you know, Hispanics and uh, so-called Negroes, they got neighborhoods that coexist, but, you know, besides that, it's mainly, you know, Black, German, Irish, or Hispanic communities. They don't really mean, you know, out here on the South Side. But, um, you know, and then Phoenix, um, I'm just getting to know that area and everything. It's pretty laid back from what I see. It's new development out there and everything. But I, I know, you know, the, the Edomites are, uh, are equally racist in all these areas, you know. I'm not saying all, but too many of them. Uh, they are of their father, you know. And uh, going back to what I'm getting on, to, uh, getting on about this uh visit here of mine, you know what I'm saying? It's just the spirit that I'm seeing that's on uh, my people. Um, that's Israel, but still lost, you know? And I know he purifying us, you know what I'm saying? Not all gonna make it, just like when Moses uh, brought us out of the Red Sea, you know? Uh, still had people doing things, and he had to destroy, Most High had to destroy some people immediately after that pilgrimage out of that uh out of, out of, out of uh, the hands of Pharaoh because they were just unappreciative, ungrateful, and couldn't see the blessings before them that they were enduring, that they were uh seeing and witnessing and being part of. And that's 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 the thing with uh our people now. Like I said, they waken and they really don't take this serious, you know? They, in this understanding as if it's a religion, and um, it's, 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 mm. that Jamaican ting, that ting, that pink ting, <laughs> it's uh, really mind baffling, because, you know, we all can't get it, you know, I know we all ain't got the same level of intelligence, but... It's really discouraging, and that's what I'm saying. I'm going to 
I'm at the point I'm ready to get back on the road because I'm, I'm, I'm at a point I'm disgusted with my people. Not judging them, but just seeing the, uh, the gift in front of them. And they just can't do that much extra to pay attention and get it. And it ain't like, uh, you know, I know it's demons out here and spirits and everything, but it's it's the things that they're choosing to excuse. That's what's bothering me. That's truly heathenistic. They're choosing to, to uh, deny a lot of the truth of the Most High and His Son. But just be comfortable with knowing that they're Israel, but and then still gravitate to Understandings of this world, you know, like I say, my family members in there watching the current affairs of the news with the synagogue shooting and everything and, 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 and mourning that. Not understanding prophecy and not saying that this is this is all something by design and you should know better being Israel. But they still in this world. I'm like, these, these are the people who are just going to be confusing a lot of souls. And um, I'm not looking back no more, man. You know, I, I, I can't, I'm worried about my select a few uh, friends and family, my daughter primarily, that are woke, and focusing on that, making sure they got the nourishment they need, and understanding, because this is, this is like, it hurts my soul, and uh, conversations with people that's on a, a lost agenda, it hurts my head. I mean, I didn't, when I was in the world, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have to deal with people that I, I didn't um, have something in common with. Uh, being in the streets at the time, uh, you know, if we function and doing some uh, heathenist stuff, you know what I'm saying, we had a common goal to go do something. And uh, it wasn't half-baked heathen work, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I can't understand it. <laughs> Just, you know, being in Israel. It ain't easy, but it showed to life ain't hard. And I'm not, I'm not liking it, man. It's making me, you know, this is the Sabbath right now. Uh, the sun's going to be going down, you know, later on this afternoon and such. And I'm, I'm going to move around. I'll probably go see a movie or something. But I'm waiting to get out of Chicago. And uh, I can't wait, you know. And I, I get the same feeling when I go back to Oakland. You know, I, I love, I, I really care for my cities and stuff, but when I'm there, the things that I have to endure uh, really kills my soul being woke now. You know, I can't even enjoy it, you know, as I did when I was in the world. You know, go back to Oakland and just the taxation, you know, the, the, the amount they tax. I mean, every transaction they in your pocket, that state. Going to get some food, going to take care of bills, just just running errands, everything. They're in your pocket. Toll bridges. and I'm like, man, how do they do it? I said to my cousin, how do y'all do it, man? He's like, man, you just get used to it. You get used to being raped? I thought about it. Yeah, that's what we're doing now, living in this Babylon world. We're getting used to being raped. They do it on so many levels to us. But I can't get used to it no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm cutting everything back. You know what I'm saying? When you operate within the laws, everything makes sense. And he moves this world out of your way. And you become uh, uh, cushioned to, to, to their uh, they evils. You know what I'm saying? You got to still pay your bills and everything, you know? But you learn to come back and not just uh, be receptive to uh, their lies and, and their deeds. And it feels good, you know. I find myself having a lot more money in my pocket and uh, money being able to stretch to do things, to provide and do other things for family members that need it. You know what I'm saying? I'm only operating with Israel lately that are, uh, that are woke, that I'm sharing blessings with. You know what I'm saying? I'll share the word with anybody, but um, as far as anything I could do for somebody in this world, it, they got to be woke. I'm not giving blessings out no more. You know, I mean, I got to really feel for you in this world for me to uh, go out of my way for you. I'm talking about little things, a monetary thing, man. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not catering to this craziness, this madness no more. And I see it working, you know, when I uh, uh, extend myself like that. 
I see the appreciation. You know, people in this world don't appreciate nothing. I mean, I, if you've heard some of the things I heard some people say uh, pertaining to uh, doing something for them, it's, it's almost says an expectation, you know. And it, it definitely was an expression of uh, uh, unappreciativeness, you know. And that was when I was in the world, you know, and, and now, like I say, not no more. It ain't gonna happen at all. Well, sitting over here. Mm, excuse me. Trying to enjoy the rest of my Sabbath around some madness, you know. It just uh, goes to the testament that this ain't easy, but it definitely ain't hard. So I'm going to continue to enjoy my day. Got some cousins going to come by. We may go out and eat tonight. Um, Definitely don't want to be here no more. And be this be uh this is uh, November. This will be my last trip till probably spring, when it's uh, enjoyable in Chicago, weather wise anyway included. But uh, just seeing the deadness in the streets, you know, uh, not so much Arizona. Uh, even though they got a real serious drug problem out there. Uh, I haven't seen too many uh, Negroes and Hispanics just lure, lurk in the streets out there, homeless status or, or trying to survive in that heat. I've seen a lot of Edomites with permanent tans on from that heat. You know, it's too hot there to be homeless, in, in my opinion. <laughs> but I guess uh, it's, it's good elements to live in. When it, it, you ain't got to worry about no cold, no rain. But um, like I say, these cities are Definitely of this world, Babylon, and it's affecting only one nationality of people, and that's the nation of Israel. So, with that said, I just want to share this. Um, hope to uh, connect with a lot of my brothers out here. You know, uh, st st stay secure out here, Israel. Stay prayed up. Shalom. All praise due to Ahaya. Ahaya shall be shy. That is to say, Shalom.